But yes. who manifests those things? Who makes them happen? Who makes them happen? Yes, the earthquakes, the tsunamis. Is it God or is it humans? Okay, so it's to put it very clear. God set up some laws in, of physics in nature. Okay. Okay. God set up some laws yeah. that allows us to exist and to act in the world and to. The so, flood of Noah. Wait. Let the me, flood of Noah. Uh, who made it happen? Okay. Let's, let's, God or humans? Who made it happen? Okay. We're talking about the problem of natural evil. Yeah. So there are some set of laws that yeah. allows us to exist. So whether if you well you to change uh, the Planck constant just a What's little bit. What's that going to do with the flood of Noah? All these laws, where you to change a little bit, we wouldn't be here. Okay. To talk flood about. of Noah. Okay, so that's was a punishment. Too. So or these not? laws are necessary for us to survive. What about the flood of so Noah? Was it a punishment you, or not? Wait, if you act against these laws, yeah. if you do something against these laws, then there are some consequences that goes back to you. Okay? And who creates those so for circumstances? Example, who creates These those? consequences are because of the laws that has been set up in that way. Okay. The flood so of example, Noah. The flood of example, Noah. Listen, listen. For no, example, John, John, I know about the physical laws and all okay. that. The flood of Noah, was it a punishment for the people of Noah or not? Okay, as I said, let me let me I say this again. To me, my Christianity, okay, there's different types of Christian. My Christianity is is what? To take the message of Jesus in my heart, to take Jesus' teaching and you know, try to follow Jesus as an example for my life. That's my Christianity, okay? And the gospel is at the core. What is that going you know? to do with my question? The question, um, is it got to, it's got to do with the question because I don't take you the said, Bible. I don't you take, said God suffers when he punishes finish. someone. Listen, no, 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 wait, wait. You're, you're, you're going on a different tangent. That's why I have to stop you. I'm sorry. I asked you, the, the reason I asked you this question is because you said when God punishes someone, he suffers. These were your words. Yes? No. Now, now wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, let me finish, let me finish. In the Old Testament and also in the New Testament, God tells that he punishes certain people, like the people during the time of Moses, the different, uh, uh, what do you say, the different plagues that came upon them, yes, that was a punishment to them. In the case of uh, the Sodom and Gomorrah, yes, they were basically annihilated again, yes, by brimstones or whatever it was from the sky, that was a punishment by God on those people. In the case of Noah, again, that was the punishment the of the old, flood. That's the God of the Old Testament. Was Jesus not the God of the Old Testament? Oops, I mean, what happened? I mean, you follow Jesus, don't you? Okay, was he so, the God of the Old Testament or not? So in the God of the Old Testament, yeah. the, you know, for example, there's the law of the Sabbath, which whereby you shouldn't you shouldn't heal on the Sabbath because was Jesus because the God Sabbath of the Old is, Testament? So that, very that simple question. Law, that was the law. Was of it Yahweh. by the same God? That was the law. Yeah, of but. Yahweh. <laughs> Okay, Jesus came in. Jesus, I'm Jesus surprised came, he said Yahweh now. Jesus came in. Okay. Was he God or not during the Old Testament time? Jesus. I don't. I personally, according to Christian, yes, he's the same God. According to you, was he God or not? According to me, no. Oh my God. So he believes a different God during the time of Moses. According to me, he was. So who was the God during the time of Moses? Not Jesus. No. According to me, yeah. The Old Testament God. How many gods do you believe in? According to me, the Old Testament God, which is portrayed in the, you know, in the Deuteronomy and numerous and all this stuff, yeah. with all this killing and stuff. I personally, maybe I haven't gone through the arguments uh, well. I mean, there's so many books, like, for example, uh, is God a monster of, I don't know who, who would like discuss this problem. How many gods do you believe in? God of the Old Testament, different from I God of the New? Personally, if I look at the Old Testament, I don't see that God the same. God as Jesus. Really? I think Jesus is something. Why does Jesus say I keep the laws of the Old Testament then? I think I don't. Why did Jesus say I keep the laws of the Old Testament? You know, you, you're making questions because to me are irrele irrelevant because I'm not, <laughs> irrelevant. I'm not that so Christian. Jesus said, my teaching, the one who doesn't obey my commandment doesn't love me. So don't tell me irrelevant. Jesus' commandments. Jesus' teaching is not irrelevant. Jesus said, I didn't came to abolish the law. Exactly. Exactly. Which yes. laws were those? The laws of the Old yeah, Testament. According to the law, you couldn't heal on the Sabbath. Jesus healed on the Sabbath. He yeah, said, so he, he, and he was... Said, and he said... You know why he healed on the Sabbath? You know, listen, listen. You, do you know why he healed on the Sabbath? Because according to him, the life of a person is much higher than this yes. maintaining the law so the, of Sabbath. So he, he gave a response so to that he, already. He already went, you know, he's, he, he already... He, you know, he came all, he went over. He Did he break the law? Did he so break the law though? He, Did he break the law? No, if he, he didn't. Good. So which law was he maintaining? The law of the Old Testament. The law of Moses. So don't say it's irrelevant. 
No, but yes, and don't say he's a different God of the Old Testament. According to the Pharisee, he was breaking the law. We don't care about the Pharisees. We yeah. care about what Jesus yeah, said. Yeah, but the Pharisee knew the law very well. Yeah, but they do not maintain the law. He knew the law better than them because they used to misinterpret the law. But he corrected them many times. Okay, That's why Jesus, he calls them snakes bring, and wipers. Jesus and this is very clear. New. No, Jesus no, 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 no. Give okay, me something new. He brought God. Okay, Jesus said, "Have you heard that they said, love your enemies and 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 uh, and, uh, and uh, so sorry, love your um, your neighbors or whatever, and uh, go against your enemies, something like that." But I truly say to you, love for your enemies and pray for we persecute you. This wasn't in the in the Old Testament. This wasn't in the law. This love, is something that love Jesus your enemy. Okay, listen, new. listen. Jesus said to love your enemy. Did Jesus practice that himself? Yes. Yes. What is he going to do in the end time? Yes, he did because he no, died no, no. on the cross and answer, he said for no, no, no. Answer the question. What, what is he going doing? to do in the end time? He said, I'm going to put my enemies as my footstools and he's going to kill all of them he's not uh, going to spare anyone that's not true the, the i don't think this guy even passage, reads the bible no, no, honestly no, 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 that's, that's the problem the with the christians the who don't passage, read the bible there's a passage luke 19 uh, 20 something uh, 1927, yeah. Yes. Is that right? Yes. But these, Luke 1927, the parable. parable. Yeah, but what does a parable denote? That's, that's, a parable that's always so, has a message. That's so, what does a parable denote? What does it mean? Do you know? He's talking about at that time, you know, the king were very like. Um, so that that was normal. Was, was Do you know the parable? parable? Do you know the parable? Yes. What does the parable mean? It's to talk about them, the. I, sorry, my English is not bad. Uh, your English has this. been so good so far. I'm yeah, sure you can maintain it. I don't that. remember. I, you could, because the, all these. Uh, Paraphrase it for me. You don't have the exact words. Of That's the fine. scriptures, I have it in Italian. And the, the terminology that there is. In Say it in Italian, go on. I'm sure different. somebody will translate it. Oh, come on. Yalla, Habibi. <laughs> yeah, so it talks about, you know, these. Uh, the, no, I'm not joking. They, I'm serious. They, they didn't accept I want to know if he knows they, it at least. They didn't accept the first time uh, we, we came. Uh, okay, so the first, and then they reject him, and then they came, no one else came, so they reject him again, and then the last time, you know, they didn't recognize basically. Mm -hmm. Of course, he was referring is, to Is Jesus to part of the parable? He was referring to himself. Thank you. Yes. Thank but, you. Yes, but he's still in the context of the story, he was talking about the king, and the king were very. Who is the king? Who is the king in the, in, the, know, in the parable? I know. He's who? who? Can he's you tell us? referring to himself. Thank you. Yes. And but, what is he going to but, do? But the story was still referring to... What is he going to do to his enemies? What is he going to do to his enemies? The story was still about... Can you bring up the passage, Nazan, please, brother? Yes. Uh, I think it's uh, Luke 19. Yeah? Them, but this is the parable. Who is going to slay them? Who is going to slay them? Who, my friend? Who? Don't yeah, be reluctant. No, they bring them and slay in front of me. He's talking about his servant. Yes. Okay. And who who is the one who's going to slay them? Who's the one, one of who is going to kill them? Who's going to kill his enemies? The ones who do not accept him. Yes. yes. Read it from here in case uh, yes, you I don't know. remember it in Italian. He's an English version for you. I know. I know. Luke already, 19. I read it, I read it Sorry, is it Luke 19? Where is it? No. Okay, yeah, just 19. Yeah, yeah. Was is it 27? Yeah. If I if my memory serves me right. Yeah. It's about those animals of mine. Baby, the dog cheese. Wait, wait. Yes. Read it aloud. No, no, read it aloud. Yes. And then, and then discuss. We need to read all the parables. Sure, sure. No problem. Read it all. Okay, by all so, means. It's so long. Come on. It's not so long. Read 1927. No, no. No, That's a key it point. Start, it starts it start in here. So, no, no. Because we need to make this clear. Because otherwise it seems like the. Okay. Want to... While you're reading this, no, let me wait, tell you wait, about wait, the Old wait. Testament and what Jesus says or what the New Testament says. So, this is in Second Timothy. 3.16. It says all scripture. Are you listening, John? It wait, says wait, all... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, help him out with the, with the pages because he's got gloves on. Yeah, yeah. So in, in 2 Timothy 3.16, it says, 2 Timothy 3.16, it says all scripture is God breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, no, and training need, no, in righteousness. This is about all scriptures and specifically okay. is talking okay. about the Old Testament. The parable of the ten minus. Oh, the, the, yes, the cameras need to look at these because the cameras you know, are going always, to listen to you. They always refer to this passage as Jesus was he's saying like that he's going to kill people. Yeah. Okay, I can show so you several passages. Jesus, uh, um, so why? While they, they were listening to this, he went on to tell them a parable. Because he was near Jerusalem and the people thought that the kingdom of God was going to appear at once. He said, 
A man of noble birth went to a distant country to have himself appointed uh, king and then to return. So he called ten of his servants and gave them the mi ten minus. What's that? What is a minus? Yeah, I don't remember. Brother, yeah. can you just go to the relevant point? Yeah. It's going to be too long Minus. otherwise. Put this my no, because we need to see the context. No, Why but do you, you said you know the context. Yeah. Did you not say that? No, you said you know the context. Yeah, within the parable. He's talking about a parable. So why don't you read the parable yeah. and then give the context? Simple as that. Yeah, I'm reading the parable. No, you're reading the whole, whole chapter. the parable. The parable is in 1927. No, no, no. The Not the whole book. No, no, this is the parable. Is, 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 so this is the whole parable. Okay, go on. Read the whole parable. So, um, uh, wait a second. I lost this. Okay. Uh, here we go. So we were left. Yeah. Which okay. one are you reading? Yeah. Yeah. The, the okay. parable starts at. Yeah, but this subject. Okay. So, a, noble, a man of noble birth went to a distant country to have himself appointed king and then to return. Okay, so he's talking about a man of noble birth. So the noble. Give, give the commentary time, later, my friend. Okay. Give the commentary okay. later. Read it first. And then you can give the commentary. Okay. okay. So. Um, Okay, so he called ten of his servants and gave them the minus. Okay, I give the commentary later. Thank you. <laughs> Put this money to work, he said, until I come back. Will it be easy if you read from the phone? <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay, go on, because it's light. No, 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 let me carry on, let me carry on. <laughs> okay, which, which verse are you reading now? Uh, I'm reading verses uh, 14. Verse 14? But, yeah. But his subjects hated him and sent a delegation after him to say, we don't want this man to be our king. He was made king, however, and returned home. Then he sent for the servants to whom he had given the money in order to find out what they had gained with it. The first one came and said, Sir, your miner has earned ten more. Well done, my good servant, his master replied. Because you have been trustworthy in a very small matter, take charge of ten cities. He's Italian. Excuse him for that. Yes. Was that? Yeah, like, carry on, carry on, carry on. Speak the second, no, bro, let him finish, let him finish. Sickle came and said, it's not helping him. Sir, your miner has earned five more. His master answered, you take charge of five cities. Then another servant came and said, sir, here is your miner. I have kept it laid away in a piece of cloth. I was afraid of you because you are a hard man. You take out what you did not put in and reap what you did not sow. His master replied, I will judge you by your own words, you wicked servant. You knew, did you, that I am a hard man, taking out what I did not put in and reaping what I did not sow. Why then did you put my money on deposit so that when I come back I could have collected it with interest. Then he said to those standing by, take this miner away from him, give it to the one who has ten miners. Sir, they said, he already has ten. He replied, I tell you that to everyone who has, more will be given. But as for the one who has nothing, even what he has will be taken. For those enemies of mine who did not want me to be a king over them, bring them here and kill them. That's a key one, yeah. yeah. So this is a parable, clearly. And he's talking about this noble man, the noble man. So he's basically re saying that for who is not accepting the king mm -hmm. or you know is not respecting the king, yeah. there will be bad consequences. Yeah. But you know, but that's because you know 
for the not, but no you buy, no but wait you said the, the parable was wait, about him wait for the no buy to 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 take the people yeah, you know to have these servants to take these people to slay them yeah okay this is this is referring to what the nobody would do, which was pretty normal at that time for you know powerful men to do so. But, of but course, those enemies of course is a parable. So it's clearly not saying that it's gonna slay people. It's simply saying that there are it's gonna be bad consequences. So you said the parable was about him. Yes, it was okay. about himself. Shall I tell you shall I tell you yeah. what Gil's exp explanation yes. is? But, but, but should I tell you what the? But this doesn't mean that he's gonna slay people. Should I tell you what the exegesis says? That there are gonna be bad consequences. And it, and honestly, this is the thing. It's like a, if I'm a good father. Yeah? Should I tell you what the exegesis says? Let me finish. Okay, go on. So if I'm a good father, yeah, and I give you advice and you do not accept it. Yeah. For example, I'm telling to a child, oh please, don't, 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 uh, don't, don't, don't play with the bicycle, you know, because you're not very skillful. Don't, 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 don't make these stupid things. Don't, like, ride the bicycle okay. without your hands. By the way, and then this guy, you know, wait, and then this guy, oops, is not, uh, Okay, you he's know, not, he's not listening. Yeah, he's gonna have bad consequences. It's not a punishment. Yeah, but bad consequences. It's just a, it's just a listen, consequence listen. I like the way you say bad consequences. Yes. When the last passage there says, "Bring the enemies to Simple me. As that. Bring the enemies who do not want me to be king over them and slay them all." Yes. Okay, wait, wait, wait. This, but this wait, is wait, not wait, talking wait, about him. I let you talk a long time. I think I've been patient a yes. long time. Now listen to what the exegesis of the Christians say about this, because you are not learned in that. Yes, let's go to the scholars of the Christians who translate this. This is Jill's explanation to the entire Bible, and this is what he says. He says that's the NIV Bible. Why, why this one should yeah, be why, the why, why are you reading from? I'm NIV? talking about the exegesis, which yeah, is a Gill's that, But that's NIV. No, the Gill's explanation is not the NIV. But I don't. It says NIV in bracket there. Yeah, but I'm not reading that, am I? Oh, Stop interrupting if you don't know what I'm reading. It says Gill's explanation of the entire Bible explains that it was to explain what will happen to the Jews. When Christ shall come back a second time, Jesus will de destroy the Jewish nation for rejecting him, and then all other enemies will be slain and oh, destroyed you, as well. Bullshit. Okay, that's okay, I'll, I'll okay. let you finish. Let me finish. No, 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 I, let I, me finish. I, I, no, I, I haven't thank finished you. yet. Thank you. I haven't okay. finished yet. Stop okay. interrupting. Okay, okay. okay? And then he so says, so rude, death and destruction yeah. will be the fate of whoever does not accept Jesus. Jesus' reign as the warrior okay. king. Now, because you're not a scholar, I'm not a scholar. That's the reason I'm reading the Christian scholars who give an exegesis. We can read all the others. They have a very similar explanation. Okay. Now this shows that this is the reason that Jesus also says many other things about killing and destroying his enemies. When he says, when he says in First Corinthians 15:24, yes, that he is going to make his enemies his footstools. Yes. Do you know what that means? I think it's wrong. You know? Yes. Again, again, that wrong. is, again, that is a reason that in the Bible we see many passages that Jesus explains from the Old Testament. For example, in uh, Matthew 15, 3 and 4. Are you listening? Matthew 15, 3 and 4. He says, anyone, this is the command of God that anyone curses the mother or father shall be put to death. Why is Jesus in the New Testament quoting a command from Exodus, the Old Testament? If it didn't apply in the New Testament time, have you got an explanation to that? I mean, Jesus many times referred to the Old Testament. I think that he was talking to the people of that time where he had to refer to the Old Testament. Why? Because that was the main religion. I mean, you know, the Jews' religion was the main religion. So they had, he had to So why is Jesus saying, why is Jesus saying this is the command of God? Yeah, because that's what the God was believing the people were, the Jews. Did Jesus believe the Old Testament was the command of God? I th yes, I think it was. He believed that it was the command of God. Good, but he was clearly against some of the people. Do you believe the Old Testament was, is the command of God? He was clearly. He, he was taking some of the things from the Old Testament. No, no. But he clearly made it better. Yeah, but do you? Do you, my friend? If Jesus believed is the command of God.